Okay, it's 4.03 now. Um, yeah, I was talking about animals. So I dreamt I saw hippos, peacocks, elephants. Every time I see elephants, I think of black eyes. Um, I saw... Oh. I saw deer, kittens. When I saw kittens, is right before Floof showed up. Um, so yeah, I saw animals and then I started having food dreams. And then I've, I've tweeted um, that I like about the food stuff because I, I talked about like d uh, food delivery dreams. Um, so I wrote that I wrote that on on Twitter. I put like I just googled it after I had that dream. It says to dream of serving specific food to someone means that you will help that person apply some positive changes in their life. I hope that's true. Um, and then I dreamt about. Like, I, I'm leaving this building, and then I come across this street, and they're selling ice cream and cotton candy, and I'm eating those things. Um, and then I dreamt about these three women, but I don't remember much. I remember, like, all I remember is it was really weird because they told me their names. The first one was named Nina, right? And I only remember that because I kept, I kept thinking about my niece, so I wouldn't forget her name. Um, so the first one's named Nina, the second one's named Maria, and then the third one is why I wanted to bring them up, is because this third one was like, oh my god, her name's Naomi. So in, in my dream, like, I'm not close with her, but like, I know her somehow, and she reaches up, like, there's these two guys watching her, and this guy, like, the, this main guy, he's giving me, like, the worst feeling, it's like the same feeling I got when, um, when Eiffel Tower friend was with her ex- boyfriend or her ex ex boyfriend i don't know how many relationships she's been in since then but um it's the same feeling i feel sick like f feeling this guy's energy and i'm like i don't even know if these people are real but like i'm in my sleep he's calling her name and i feel sick to my stomach i was like oh my god like i, f I can't tell if he's gonna murder her or you know like i like the feeling i'm getting from this dude i like i can sense her getting hurt so i don't i don't know i don't know if these people are real or whatnot but i dreamt about that and i was like oh my god naomi get out of there you know like when you're watching a horror movie and you're like you, you know the killer's coming like i was just like oh my god can you hear me get, like what are you doing um then i had another dream where someone had their inner child beaten out of them it was so fucking disturbing i was like to see like to, to see somebody go from being like like their energy being here to having someone beat their energy till they're there and still not being like dead dead but oh my god it was i, I can't i can't even um then i had another dream where um there's a whole bunch like i can't tell if this is a forest there's a whole bunch of people like a tribal type of thing and um i'm i i don't belong here but i come i came to visit this one guy and he's showing me around this place and they're getting ready for some type of like i don't know celebration or something and um as he they he's decorating me like he like he has some type of like white stuff or red stuff i don't remember what color it was but he draws a line on my eye like this um so i blend in with all the other people so they don't, they can't tell that i don't belong there and that i came from somewhere else um so um uh so everybody's all happy and stuff and then as he's like uh painting my face um this, random people show up and they start killing these people one by one so this guy now uh, he hides me and he gets taken away and then when i uh when i um when everything quiets down and i leave the hiding spot i see nothing but dead bodies in front of me and i'm left all alone and there's nothing but dead bodies and blood and i was like oh my fucking god and my eyes just marked so i don't know um then i had another dream there's this guy and this lady in this car. I'm in like the, the I'm third pos I'm in I'm not myself, but I feel like I'm in like I'm in this lady's body, right? Like um like ugh, I don't know how to explain this. Like I'm in her body watching what's going on here. So, um I don't know what the relationship is, but um he they're, he's gone to go somewhere. I don't know if he's going into a courthouse or something, but he asked her, 
before he leaves the car if she wants to go with him and she said no he, he's gonna take like two seconds to get back she said he she'll wait for him and he'll come back right um but he f he for he leaves her but he forgets to lock the door and then all of a sudden this next guy comes in this car right and he he's trying to attack her she runs out of this car she's thinking that this dude set her up right to get like kidnapped or something um so she rushes in the building she rushes toward the the way she saw him go right and she can't find this guy and she thinks she's being uh, like he set her up to to get kidnapped or i don't know what um um and then i think she ends up dying and then it, I cut back from her perspective to the guy's perspective, and now he's looking at a newspaper, um, and he, I think she, like, she saw him before she died, I don't remember, but she's looking, um, he, he was telling her that he didn't know what happened, what was going on, like, he wasn't involved with what happened, um, and then she died, and then he's looking at a newspaper now, and in the newspaper it said 4,282 people were missing, and they were all murdered they they were all murdered within half an hour right and um i got so many numbers so um when she was killed she died between 7 and 7 30 in the morning i don't know if that means anything to any of you but i never got like a like specific number numbers so yeah all i could feel is this guy's pain he's like if i didn't leave her for like two seconds she wouldn't have died she wouldn't have died and i was like oh my god like why the fuck did i see this um but yeah he went searching for all the missing people he's trying to track down whoever whoever's like attacking these people i don't know what the hell then i dreamt um this younger guy um he's with this old lady i don't know what they're talking about or dealing with they're in like i don't know a building or a house or something i don't know what this is and then this older dude shows up out of nowhere he just breaks in and he rushes to attack the old lady she's trying to lock the door and this younger guy comes to help her hold the door shut before she's getting um attacked right but there she he makes it too late it's too weak she gets murdered and then i don't know what happens after it was so scary that i just woke up then i had another one another dream where like um this person's kind of like double crossing kind of like they they're helping me and then but they're helping me to 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 get hurt and then when they see me getting hurt, they feel like how they felt. And then they try and help me not get hurt. Kind of, I don't know, it was like a very weird dream. Um, it's like, um, like for example, like it's like if um, you just meet somebody, you think you get off well with them. And then they give you a cup of coffee and then you drink the coffee and then you realize it's poison. And then you realize this person's been poisoned before. Like someone's done that to them. So now they're doing it to you. And then you're tr like, it's like, do I forgive them? Like, that's kind of, it's really fucked up. So I didn't know what, like, what to do there. Then I dreamt that Block of Ice confessed his feelings to me. Finally. And then I was able to move the hell on. Um, and then I dreamt somebody placed me on a ledge and gave me a flower. I was, someone picked me up, put me on a ledge, and then gave me a flower. And then... Um, uh, I woke up I felt like I woke up in the dream I know I'm still sleeping but like I felt like I was sleeping then I woke up and then I actually woke up you know like I woke up and then I felt like I was in like a I was covered in a blanket of flowers I was like oh my god no and then I had a dream where I'm in this big dark room I can't tell if like if it's not a theater, but it feels similar to that. The room's dark. I'm wearing heels for whatever reason, and I don't normally wear heels, right? So this got to be a fancy type of event because I don't wear heels for no reason. Um, and then I'm looking for something. Like, I'm going through... There's, like, a drawer, and I'm going through all this stuff. Um, 
<clears throat> and I can't find what I'm looking for. I see beads in this drawer, but it's not what I'm looking for. And then before I leave, I started eating cookies. It was a weird dream. Um, I had that dream April 9th this year. I wrote down the dates because these things felt important to me. I don't know if those it, th these things mean anything to any of you. Just hear me out, okay? Um, next dream I had... Um, I saw someone's palm. I don't know if it's my palm or someone else's palm. And there's pills in there's pills on my palm. And I was like, I don't take medication. What the fuck is this? Um, and then another time, instead of pills, it was like loose change. Um, so then I posted that on my Twitter account too. I told you guys like dreams about spirit change because this wasn't the first time. I keep seeing that like spirit change in my hands. And then. Well, based on my google search it says to dream of seeing loose change represents power resources or abilities you haven't that you have that aren't as easy to use as you'd like them to be you are capable of doing something anytime you want but there is work or difficulties involved so then i started looking at the money i'm like okay if the money represents my projects i'm working on then what the hell does the pills represent you know what i mean i was looking at this like what the fuck <clears throat> okay oh god it's 414 now does that mean anything to you guys i keep seeing that number two okay um then i had another gym where i'm backstage somewhere and then i keep being asked if i'm okay but these people asking me aren't asking me in english it's a different language and i don't know what it is um and then you guys asked me why i don't like doing readings so like um i don't like reading people i don't like getting into people's business and that kind of thing when i use cards and stuff it's more like dream confirmation for me um right it's it just makes it gives me a little bit of sanity to this insanity you know um and then i had another dream where like I, I just got up but i had to go downstairs so like i'm like still half asleep as i'm going down the stairs and i end up falling down the stairs because i couldn't feel my feet like sometimes i feel like there's no stairs there or like i can't like i can't like i don't know i fell down the stairs so i kept falling down the stairs i don't know what the hell and um, I fell down the stairs because I was trying to remember what this lady was telling me as I was like half asleep because I think mom called me downstairs. So I'm trying to communicate with this lady while I'm trying to stay awake, right? Then I had another spirit show up and it told me if I can't handle all the dreams happening or like if it, if it feels too painful. Um, it told me to tap the base of my spine to stay awake or like to feel better. I don't know what that's supposed to do. It just said tap your spine. Um okay um and then they told me this story so i was panicking because i was like you know when you when you have like uh when you have like really important problems or issues like something that's really like weighing heavily on you and you can't tell anybody but you need to talk through it or like you don't know what to do kind of thing so i had this spirit come i call this spirit the I think I don't know if this is the dragonfly spirit one of these spirits came and talked to me about this and um, Explained the situation to me in a way that I would understand and make it easier for me to know what to do instead of like overthinking things So it started telling me a story like a stupid fairy tale story before I had that fairy tale book, right? So It told me once upon a time. I'm gonna tell you guys a story, but I feel weird saying what they told me, okay? Um, so it said he said once upon a time there was a sunflower, right? Um, and he said, this sunflower, this sunflower, wait, no. He said, once upon a time, there was this garden of flowers. And in this garden of flowers, there was this, there was, uh, there was this sunflower. I think that's what he said. I can't remember. I'm not going to be able to tell it back exactly, but I'm going to tell you guys what it, he, what he told me. And he told me not to interrupt. I kept interrupting every two seconds. And he said, shut the fuck up. Do you want to hear the story or not? I'm like, okay, okay, okay. Um, so he said, once upon a time, there was this garden of flowers. I think flowers told me this story. I don't remember. I don't remember. Somebody told me this story. Once upon a time, there was a garden of flowers. There's a sunflower among these flowers. Let's say they're roses. I can't remember what he said. Like, there's this garden of roses. And then there's this one sunflower. The roses think they're better than the sunflower. And the roses don't like interacting with the sunflower, okay? Um, so the sunflower is usually left alone. And the sunflower is special because 
it like it could um interact with fireflies that's what he said um so this sunflower this sunflower was lovesick the sunflower fell in love with the sun right and each day the sun the sunflower wants to grow bigger and bigger until they could reach the sun um but the roses in the garden thought the sunflower was idiotic for wanting to get closer to the sun right so they looked down on the sunflower the sunflower told the fireflies um what was going on um uh the sunflower tried moving on from the sun or like listened sometimes so when the roses were talking and thought okay maybe um i should spend my time on grasshoppers okay um but these grasshoppers didn't give two shits for the sunflower, okay? Like, the grasshoppers were there for the sunflower, but didn't want want the sunflower in the way that the sunflower wanted the sun. So, um, one of the grasshoppers ended up finding a really, they ended up with ladybugs, okay? <laughs> um, so one day, the sunflower is kind of heartbroken, not knowing where to, what the fuck to do. Sometimes the sky is really, sometimes the sky, the sky is stormy and cloudy and she can't see the sun. She wants to see the sun every day, but she, sometimes she can't. Um, so one day this, this bumblebee comes out of nowhere. Or this honeybee, I don't know. This bee comes out of nowhere and makes friends with this sunflower. <clears throat> right? Um. Uh. Um, the sunflower likes the bee but she can't get over the sun okay um so the bee's trying everything to to like make the sunflower feel better like but the sunflower wasn't having it okay um so the sun the the bee the honeybee stayed by her side um but um uh, oh, I can't remember the rest of the story. Um. <clears throat> um. So the sunflower thought about what it would be like to live life with the bee and not with the sun, right? And um, the life she saw with the bee, the sun didn't exist, right? And it made her... Oh, God, it's past 420. <laughs> uh, okay, um, it made her sad. She didn't want to live in a world without the sun. And every time she saw her life with the bee, she felt empty because the sun wasn't there. Like, she felt like something was missing. It was sad. She can't live without the sun. So she she didn't she stopped taking care of herself she stopped she started like she stopped eating she stopped sleeping she stopped doing the, like she stopped doing normal flower things okay she like the as time went like if if she stayed with the bee as time went on she she wilt okay she would die cuz she couldn't see the sun um um but she never knew how the sun felt about her, right? Like, she loved the sun that much, but the sun never, or never made it, never made its feelings clear to the sunflower, right? Because all the roses and everybody's telling her, oh, like, this, there's no, you, the sun's too good for you, you know? Um, so, uh, not knowing when, what to do, the sunflower um, didn't focus on the sun or the bee and then came across this um, came across this this tree okay but this trees all marked up okay the bark the bark of the trees all marked up um, I don't remember uh, oh, this part of the story um, <clears throat> I think I think he said a butterfly, a butterfly. Uh, knowing that the sunflower was feeling 
that way a butterfly showed up and told the but the sunflower about this marked up tree right there's leading leading this sunflower to this tree and um and the this uh how like what the heck i don't remember how but he said this sunflower is able to communicate with this tree and this tree's looking after her and taking care of her while all this shit is going on right um and yeah i think that's where the story ends and then by the end of it when he finished telling me the story i was like he's like isn't it easier to figure out what to do now when you look at it from a childlike perspective right he's like in this situation what would you say what the sunflower would should do now should the sunflower stay with the um stay with the the marked up tree should she listen to the the field of ro the garden of roses should she stay with the the honeybee should she continue loving the sun unconditionally like he's like now when you're looking at it like that <clears throat> do you know what to do um and i was like kind of right but like i don't know okay story time's over <laughs> yeah he, he he told me that story okay um I can't tell you the story from the perspective of any of the other characters in the story because he placed me as the sunflower in the story, right? Um, okay. Um, I had another dream and I heard a lot of people in my sleep saying thank you. So that's why when you guys looked at my one of my tweets, it says you're welcome because I don't know um, oh, what I did, but like, you're welcome. <laughs> Um, I should be thanking you guys because I feel like every time something goes wrong, somebody's always there for me. And then that's why, like, a lot of my tweets you'll see when I tweet out, like, skulls and rain clouds and stuff like that. Anytime I'm feeling awful and I don't know which one of you is so magical, but w at least one of you knows. And then the pain's instantly gone. Like, every, like, any awful thing I'm feeling is gone. Um, okay, then I had a dream where... There was a whole bunch of rice in my hair, and then I'm like shaking the rice out of my hair. Um, so I could like I'm watching this rice spill out of my hair. I was like, what the fuck? Um, then I had another dream, <clears throat> and I'm in this. There's like two buildings, and I don't know what's in the other one, but I'm in this one. It's dark. Nobody's there. I don't know where the light switch is. I'm walking around this. It's empty, and I'm walking around this, um, this building. I see stairs. I'm like, I want to go up the stairs, but I, I'm scared. I don't know. I'm gonna reach up there. Um, then I dreamt like there was another building, like a museum, and I keep seeing books in different languages. Um, there's like, like this, this building so spacious, <clears throat> and there was like this woman and two guys there. Um, and I stayed with them until, uh, until the next day. Like, I couldn't, I, I didn't go until the next day because I didn't know, like, I didn't want to leave. I don't know where I'm going and get scared because I'm like, I feel comfortable here. I'm going to stay here until I feel okay to move on. So, I don't know. Then, a lot of my dreams, I kept seeing it raining. Um, like, like, there was so much water. Like, the, one of them, I could feel like water up to my ankles right my ankles are soaked in water i was like why the heck is there so much rain water um uh, okay then when i was cleaning my room so this is these are the most recent ones now when i was cleaning my room i dreamt i was in i don't know what like what kind of building this is people are selling things in this building um but there's like there's no doors. There, the, the front's open, and you can just walk in. But when you walk, like it's daytime, but when you walk into this building, it feels like it's nighttime in there. There's no light in here, but people are buying and selling. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but um, one of the ladies she asked me because I can't. I went in there to buy something specific. 
um and it was like i like i i picked up this thing i was like i want to buy this thing and she's like that you're not you know what it's used for i'm like yeah but i'm not buying it for that i'm using it for something else and which was really weird um and as she's cashing me out or whatever she's telling me about like oh how her shift's gonna end like she was really nice and um she said be careful of the guys watching you i was like what are you talking about like i could she's like there's this whole group of guys over there watching you and i was like oh my fucking god can they not um she said she she said make sure i don't leave by myself and then she hugged me i remember she hugged me and i felt like i was gaining my energy my strength back the same way like i told you guys i saw a lot of people hugging me in my sleep are you guys thanking me i could feel my energy coming back to me um uh, and then I remember I ate something, somebody's sweets, I saw sweets being sold, and I got, I ate some sweets, and then I woke up from there, um, but the, the lady who hugged me, she said she was, she finished her shift there, and she had to work a job somewhere else, but I, I don't know if she was actually gonna go work another job, or she was gonna go see a guy, because she was, she started putting on lipstick and stuff, and she was prettying up, so I was like, okay, there's gotta be somebody important she's gonna go see, um, but she said she'll see me later. Um, which is weird because I, I like I don't understand. I see people and sometimes I feel like I miss them, but I don't know who these people are. Um. <clears throat> oh God, it's four thirty already. Um. Okay, so the other dream when I was cleaning my room, I dreamt. I end up in this maze of a house. Okay, there's like the stairs are going down but like there's like a whole balcony type thing right and i'm upstairs here and i wake up in this room and it's like this whole upstairs is like a, a maze it's cluttered right there's no space like i just get up and i walk out this room because i was like i don't know where the hell i am i'm like looking around to see where i am and i get to like the the stairs and there's three old people down there and they're like oh it's just you and it's like come downstairs and i was like what the heck so i i walked down these stairs and in front of me is this old lady all right she's at this like i think it's like a kitchen area i don't know if she's making tea or something but she's got a cup and she's she's walking back to her chair to sit but she's like really old so she's moving at like the slowest pace ever and then there's the, the this guy lecturing me this old man, he, oh my god, his mouth's strong. He just, he talking, talking, like lecturing me. And then there's this lady off to the side that I can't really see or notice, but I noticed these two here. And um, this old, the old lady with the cup going back to her chair, she's just looking at me, smiling the whole time. She's like so happy to see me. And then this man here, he's just yelling at me. He's like, um, he's like, oh, thank God. I was like, we, we didn't know who was in the house. We, why didn't you tell us you were home? Like, um, he said somebody sneezed, right? And as he's telling me this, I'm letting him lecture, and I kind of panic because I'm like, I just, I don't remember sneezing. I didn't, if none of you sneezed and I didn't sneeze, we have a problem here. <laughs> that means someone else is in this house, right? And I'm kind of panicky at the, panicky at this moment because I don't know who else is here. And, um, but if he thought it was me that sneezed, I was like, it's gotta be, there's gotta be another lady in this house now then. Um, but then I, I don't tell him anything. I just tell him, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, sorry, I didn't mean to bug you. Um, but I'm on my way to leave this place because I don't know where the hell I am. And the old lady with the cup, she, she started talking to me. And she said, uh, she said uh, if I wanted anything to eat. And then um, she told me, be careful. And she told me, she, I got a lot to tell her when I get back. And I told her, okay. Um, and then... I can't remember what happened after then. I just, I was about to walk out the door, which was kind of scary. The The last dream I had, um, I was, because my bed was crowded, right? The spirit was laughing at me. I don't know who was laughing at me. One of them was laughing at me, no ass, because I was, I was sleeping like a pretzel on the bed. And he's like, how the fuck are you going to sleep like that? I'll, I'll sleep like that. And he was laughing at me. <laughs> he, he kept showing me like I was sleeping under a pile of clothes. It was funny. Okay. Um. Okay. I okay. That's that's basically everything for now, guys. Um. Uh, the most important part of the video I'm gonna film now. So, um. Can all of you leave now? I just I want to talk to him alone. Can you guys leave so I can talk to him?
I gotta promise. No, nobody watch up until this. I just want him to watch this. No one else watch this. Everybody leave. <clears throat> okay, I'm on page fourteen of nineteen. Um, it's four thirty three. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh my god, I'm kind, I'm really nervous. Okay, hold on. Let me turn the light on because it's getting mad dark. Hold on.